Good morning, everybody. Today we are making something really summery. It's peach cobbler. Sadly, we have to peel the skin off the peaches to have a really good cobbler. So I'm going to start peeling off the skin. You can use a potato peeler. If you don't have one, you can always use a knife as a last resort. I prefer not to because I've nicked my finger many times with knives, and we don't want that to happen. You can even nick yourself with this. So we're going to get the skin peeled off. So we have a really, and also the peaches should be a little bit more ripe. To have a really good cobbler. You can also use this for peach pie, you know. Okay, a little bit more. Now what we're going to do is we're going to slice these peaches up. I want to have enough peaches so we have a great peach cobbler. Cobblers come in many different flavors. You can make blueberry, apple cobbler, any kind of fruit. You can even use nectarines if you want to. There we go. Beautiful summer day today. It's not too hot today, but you know what? We're going into a massive heat wave next week. I'm not happy about that. It's going to go into the 90s sometime early next week. It gets hot. It's sometimes it's very uncomfortable. We have to deal with humidity and everything. There we go. Let's cut these babies up. We'll have nice sliced sweet peaches. These peaches are a little overripe. This is what we want when you make when you bake with peaches. They should be overripe. Cutting these babies up. Missy came back. Hello, Missy. Walking up again on me? Oh, how sad. Guess she's going down to do her business. This Nile. Nile is a cat <coughs> that always eats the wrong food. And she has a reaction. She gets sick because she's always getting into something that she should not be getting into. But you know, cats just don't learn. Okay. Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to grease the pan with salted, unsalted butter. It's got to be unsalted. Use a little towel, it won't hurt. I'm going to grease the pan just a little bit. A little bit more, I'm going to do the sides. Because we don't want anything to stick to it. All right. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my peaches in here into the cake pan before we make up the uh, floured uh, dough. Okay, get rid of this. I absolutely love fresh peaches. Oh, they're so good. They're very sweet, these peaches. And often we go peach picking in the uh, orchard, and oh, they're so good. Here we go. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, now we're going to do the dough. I have to wash my hands. The reason I have to wash my hands is because this dough is going to stick to me like, uh, like glue. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start adding uh, the flour, which is one and one half cups of flour. Okay. Okay. Right, one and about halfway fill this up with flour. Okay, about halfway up. I'm adding in another half a cup of flour, okay? This is going to make the dough, all right? I'm now adding in two-thirds cup of granulated sugar. Okay, i got to add in one more cup. I mean, one more third cup of sugar, which will add up to two-thirds. Okay. I'm now adding in my baking powder. Okay. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder will make it rise. One. Two. This is my dry ingredients for this mess. You know, when you make something with peaches in it, for some reason it goes all over the place. I don't know why. Ugh. All right, let's mix this together. Okay. I want to add in one half cup of whole milk, fresh milk, one fresh warm egg, And the rest of the butter. We had a whole stick of butter, so this is going to be like, uh, I would say about six or seven ta tablespoons of unsalted butter. It's just going to be added in here, and now we're going to mix the ingredients together. It's going to become a very fine dough. Okay. 
Okay. This is going to go into the oven and this is going to actually rise. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is we're going to put it on top of the peaches. I can feel it's already sticking to my hand, but this is going to rise. Okay. Okay. This is going to definitely rise. There we go. Sticking to my hand. Even today, it's not that humid out, but humidity can definitely cause things to get a little difficult when you cook. This is going to spread all over the all over the pan. Oh, it's all sticky. Okay. Here we go. All right. This is going to spread. I don't want to put any more in there. Let me wash my hands. Okay. We're going to put it in the oven, and we're going to bake it for about a half an hour until it spreads. And here we have a wonderful, delicious peach cobbler that's great to serve in the summertime. Peaches are definitely now in season. I'm hoping to bake an apple, an apple pie. Why am I saying apple pie? I meant to say a delicious peach pie sometime this week. What day, I don't know yet, but I'm planning, it's, it's in the plan for this week. And also sometime this week, I plan on making peaches and cream. It's so delicious. From Deborah Way at Home Country Kitchen, have a great day and please subscribe to my show.